K-pop stands have given us one of my favorite kinds of video content, fan cams. Ever wondered how to make one yourself? If you're not already familiar, a fan cam is essentially a compilation of video clips packaged together in a music-driven, effect-heavy video to celebrate your favorite artist, your friend, maybe even yourself. Why not? I see these all the time on TikTok for music groups, actors, and influencers, and they look like they take so much time and effort. The good news is that they're actually a lot easier to create than they might seem. Today, I want to show you how you can make your very own fan cam on CapCut. I'll walk you through all the features you need to customize your fan cam and really make it your own. But before we get into it, are you subscribed to CapCut's YouTube channel? We post a ton of product updates and tutorials and I don't want you to miss out. Okay, now let's open the CapCut mobile app and get started. Fan cams are built around music first and foremost. So as soon as you open your project and import your footage, you'll wanna head into the music library and choose your song. CapCut's music options are all within the sounds menu. As always, I suggest just checking out what's in the trending section first so you can use what's already kind of popping off on the app. Make sure you choose something happy, upbeat, and with a strong melody that you can cut your video to. When you've got your song, press the blue plus button. You can focus in on the specific part of the song you want to use by selecting your audio and dragging the beginning and end of the track. You can also just use the split feature and then delete the unwanted parts of the song. Now it's time to cut your footage to the beat of the song. Usually you can tell by the waveform where those beats are, so use that as your guide. If the nature of your song makes it difficult to see where those peaks and dips are, you can always tap into your audio clip and then head into the beats menu. Here you can mark your beats manually so you'll be able to see them a little bit more easily, or you can let CapCut detect the beats and do it for you. Obviously, I like to let CapCut do things for me to save me some time, so I will auto-generate those beats here and then head back to my timeline. Now I can see a little dot where each beat is so I know exactly where to cut my clips. Now I can go through my footage and determine what clips I want to use and where. I'm going to use the split tool and then delete my unwanted clips to edit everything together. Now we have a great base for our fan cam. We have our upbeat song and the footage matches perfectly. Now all there's left to do is add our transitions and effects. You can add your transition by tapping on the white square in between your clips. When you do this, all of CapCut's transitions will pop up so you can choose whichever one you want. You can always check how a transition is going to work within the context of your video by tapping on it and then you'll see a little preview in the player. If you do want to use the same transition throughout your entire video, tap apply to all and CapCut will automatically add that transition in between each and every clip. Don't forget to hone in on how long you'd like your transitions to be as well. Usually if the song is pretty fast and the video has a quicker pace, I'll shorten the duration of my transitions. Last but certainly not least, it's time to add some effects to your fan cam. To do this, just tap on the clip you'd like to work with and head into the effects menu. Once you're in there, you'll be able to choose between video effects, body effects, style changes, and AI. Your video effects are gonna change the look and feel of your video as a whole. Body effects are all based around the subject of the video. Style effects are pretty similar to video effects, but they're gonna move with the beat of your video. From what I can see on TikTok, these are very popular to use specifically for fan cams because they are so music driven. The more you can coincide your footage and effects with your music, the better, so I definitely recommend playing around with these a lot. AI effects will change how your video looks based on pre-made or customized AI prompts. So let's say you want your fan cam to look like an oil painting. You can do that here. Adding this razzle dazzle is definitely the most fun part for me. I love to experiment with a ton of different effects until my fan cam is ultra engaging and fast paced. Now you have all the makings of an amazing fan cam. Engaging music, fun clips, unique transitions, and various effects. Make one for your best friend's birthday or in celebration of your favorite musician. You can really flex your creative muscles with these, which is why I love seeing them on TikTok. Who are you creating your first fan cam for? Let us know in the comments, I'm curious. And if there are any other tutorials you'd like to see, drop those suggestions too. With that, I will catch you in the next video. Bye.